Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question but a lesson. I think we've developed um, our provision for disabled young people in Blackburn with Darwin. Um, we've given them more opportunities to come down and participate. Um, try new activities such as um, different sports and creative arts. Um, it's raised awareness within our mainstream young people and staff around uh, dis different disabilities and how easy it is really. Once you understand the young person, you can kind of adapt anything to ensure everybody's got an equal, uh, a level playing field basically to take part and join in. I think that um, obviously for young people with disabilities for example there is disability sport, there is Paralympic sport to aspire towards but they're never going to get there unless they take part in the first place and, and the Paralympians, whatever their sport is, train with non-disabled people so it's, it's the same principle really and sometimes with some young people who have been switched off with, from PE at school they come to a youth centre and it's different so they might then take part in sport for fun rather than having to do it. You know, they're choosing to do it and I think that is a difference. You can develop environments, uh, you can put new activities on, you can turn your staff up, but what's, what's most important is that, that young people, whether they're disabled or not, have the choice to do something and you give them the support and the environment to, to make that choice and if they make that choice then that environment is accessible for them. It's, you know, it's a disabled person wants exactly the same as a non-disabled person to be with people, to make choices, to enjoy new environments and take on new challenges. I think inclusion is important because we're part of a society that um, we're going to mix with everybody of all kinds of different abilities. So I think it's important that if we're mirroring that here at the youth zone, then young people are going to be accepted a lot easier when they go out into the big wide world because we don't just have like an inclusion day in the supermarket or um, anybody with a certain disability um, can go to you know a particular shop on a certain day. You don't do that, everybody's included and I think that's why what we need to show show everybody in the community that it doesn't matter what your ability are, you can still like you know succeed and, and do many things with your life and then that's very much what the project um, is doing. So the Level Playing Field project has brought a huge amount of awareness around disability and inclusion within the organisation. Um, we've been able to um, access some brilliant training through the Sea Shell Trust and through the Level Playing Field training calendar. Um, and through all that we've developed um, a really inclusive programme for, for all abilities uh, within the youth zone. When I first started here, I didn't feel confident going around with not ability, uh, not, non abilities because they like, might, might laugh at me or something like that. But ever since I've been here, I've been able to like combine and join with them and talk to everyone. So I've made a lot of new friends since I've been here because of my I, I feel that it's good to get to have somewhere to go because you get to like meet new people. And uh, when I first time, I, I was really shy because. I was born at school and I didn't want to know anyone much but now when I've come to my board I always still want to talk to. We know it, it's working because we, we're getting more and more young people coming down. Our reputation is, is, you know, we've got a really good reputation with the Blackburn with Darwin. We're getting referrals from the council, um, schools, you know, everybody's really behind us and supporting us and, and recognising the, the work that we're doing here but I think the biggest reason is seeing the young people's faces, that they're enjoying it, they've got big smiles on their face, they're looking forward to coming down, you know, some are saying 50p, 50p and are waiting, ready to go, you know, on the times that they, they come down. The kids are smiling, they're coming back for more and, you know, they're proving the in. If they're smiling, you know you're doing a good job and especially if they're queuing up to, to do the sport or whatever it is that we've got um, waiting for them, then you know it's working. Continue build on what we've already got. Uh, we're ensuring that uh, you know the staff in every session that staff is continually to get trained um, around um, disability awareness, um, 
disability language, preferred language to be used, um, adaptation of all the, uh, the sports that we offer and the arts, um, and just continue to develop that we're working in a person-centred way. We, we kind of treat every individual as an individual and meet their needs as best we can. People, people nowadays want to play sport in a, in a competitive way. So like, like, like it's good. It, 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 don't, it, don't, it don't matter if you've got a disability. It, it, what, it what's it? It what's inside. If you've got, you got it inside, you, you're okay.